Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fossil Linux channel. This is Michael. If you are looking for a strong alternative to Microsoft OneNote, stick around because today I am introducing an app that comes pretty close. It's an app that caters to both your personal and professional note-taking needs. So let's dive right in and take a closer look at its features and benefits. Let's get it started. Before we start, an important note for transparency. This review is entirely my own initiative. There is no collaboration with the app developers. I've been using this app for over a year and pay it myself. So this is not an ad and there is no product placement. What you'll get are my honest impressions and opinions. The app in question is called Notesnook. It is open source and available on almost all platforms. Windows, macOS, Linux, iOS, iPadOS or Android. And if necessary, you can also log in via your browser. This means you can access your notes from almost any device. The end-to-end -end encryption of Notesnook is particularly noteworthy. Your notes are so secure that not even the developers can access them. Security and data protection really take center stage here. And what was that again with OneNote itself? Let's leave it at that and take a closer look at Notesnook. The Notesnook user interface is intuitive and user friendly. It does not differ greatly from that of OneNote. You can create organize and access notes quickly and easy. Whether text notes, checklists or attachments, Notesnook supports various note types and is therefore incredibly versatile. Another practical feature is offline access. You can create and edit notes even without an internet connection. As soon as you are online again, all changes are synchronized to your devices. Synchronization works seamlessly across all devices so that your notes are always up to date no matter which device you use. You can organize your notes in different notebooks and selections for structured management. This provides a better overview and makes it easier to find important information. To quickly access important or frequently used notes, you can pin them to the sidebar. What I like about OneNote is the so-called full page view. These are the two arrows at the top right of a note window. If you click on them, the window is fully focused on the actual note and the rest is just hidden. In Notes Nook, the function is called Focus Function and is labeled with the sunglasses symbol at the top right. Try working split screen with something like Putty or Terminal on side on and OneNote or Notes Nook on the right side, create technical documentation. I love that! You can also add reminders to notes or categorize them according to tags. Tags are particularly useful if you have different notebooks and have notes in them that contain corresponding topics. The tags allow you to categorize topics across notebooks. Over time, the notes pile up. It can quickly become confusing. Luckily, we have a search function with a magnifying glass at the top right. This can also offer a search and replace function within the open node by clicking on the two arrows. And by the way, this can also be used to search for search terms. The global search is located on the left with the search field above the nodes. If you enter a keyword there, all nodes are searched and the results are displayed. I know that sounds like a simple thing. But let's be honest, in a good notes app, you don't need a hundred of crazy functions, but a few important ones that simply have to work well. If you work with sensitive notes, you can also protect them with a password via a fault. But the biggest news is that the notes are end-to-end -end encrypted by default. 
If you have any doubts, the developers state that you can check this with WeRecrypt. The developers want to gain the trust of users by offering a particular and verifiable way of checking encryption directly in the browser with WeRecrypt. Now we come to the point that probably has the greatest potential for excitement. This is because Node Snook can only be used to a limited extent in the free version. This includes encryption, sync to unlimited devices, offline access, unlimited number of nodes, export function for nodes as a text file, limited organization, rich text editor. At first glance, that doesn't sound too bad. At least that's what I thought at first, because you can actually use it for free. But the devil is in the detail. For me, the sticking point for switching to the paid pro version was the lack of attachments. This means that if you are writing a technical documentation or note, for example, and want to insert an attachment such as a screenshot, it is not possible in the free version. The paid pro version offers the following functions. Unlimited attachments, unlimited memory, private fault. This means the functions to save notes with a password, export functions to PDF, HTML and markdown, recurring reminders. That means the reminder function for notes, unlimited notebooks and tags. At the time of creating this video in June 2024, the pro version cost 56.51 euros per year. Educational institutions can get it for under 10 US dollars per year. Proof of affiliation with an educational institution is required. Pupils, students, teachers, professors and employees of educational institutions can use either their email address or an efficient document of the institution as proof. At notesnook.com slash pricing, you can not only see the prices, but also can compare the plans. Here you have basic and pro. Take yourself time and compare them and then make a good decision for you. In conclusion, Notesnook is an excellent alternative for anyone looking for a secure, user-friendly and cross-platform alternative to Microsoft OneNote. Especially for those of you who attach great importance to data protection, Notesnook is a very attractive option. If you want to give Notesnook a try, have a look at their website and download the app. I had previously used Joplin for several years and was not fully satisfied with Joplin. The user experience was not what I had expected. I often find the search results in Joplin imprecise. Sometimes it even depends on upper and lower case letters whether a hit appears in a search or not. The fact is that what Notesnook offers and promises is a promising alternative. But there are also certain reservations here. The company behind Notesnook is Street Writers Private Limited. The company is based in Pakistan. I'm not in a position to access the exact status of privacy and data protection in Pakistani legislation. Furthermore, the app has not yet been audited for vulnerabilities or deficits in the implementation of encryption. The notes have been hosted by Hetzner in German data centers since August 2022, according to the developers themselves. All in all, Notesnook makes a good impression. The functions are extensive and absolutely on a par with OneNote. The standard encryption is favorably received, but a lot can be promised. Until this has been subjected to a security audit, you have to trust the developer's statement. And especially if it comes to trust and entrusting your personal notes, you should wait up how you decide. Incidentally, I haven't switched completely. Rather, I am currently working in a mixed mode. Professional stuff is in Notesnook and personal notes in Joplin. I can also host Joplin myself in Nextcloud on encrypted storage and can also encrypt in the app itself. That appeals to me more than the promises of Notesnook. Both apps run on all my devices and only once Notesnook has been audited and all the lights are green, I could imagine a further shift not before. What do you think? Feel free to write your opinions in the comments. I'm curious.
If you like this video, please leave a free channel subscription, give the video a thumbs up and with the bell activated, you'll be informed immediately when I upload new videos. You see, we both benefit from it. Thank you very much. Thanks for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. Peace. Thank you.